Well, this is where I slept last night. I found an old railroad shop. Full of old parts. Kind of found me a cubby hole. Only place to lay out. I just rolled out my mat. I didn't need my bedroll. It was just so full of dew. Everything was soaking wet. So I just kind of slept right here. So There's the main Northern Railway yard. There's that building I slept in. Give a panorama. Kind of like a logging company too. See it's just soaking wet everything. Trucks everywhere. But when I got here, I didn't see any tire tracks in the dirt, so I knew nobody had been back here. Plus, today, Saturday, I heard something's what woke me up. It must have been a cat or a bird flying around or something. Well, that's about the end of the main northern railway. It dead ends and begins here. There's their shop. Down there. And last night when I got here, let me back up some. Yeah, these tracks are rusted. They ain't used at all. This one either, but the other one, yeah, it's used actually pretty frequent. I seen a a train light down here about where the river is. Maintenance away. Even got a snow plow on the front. Well, they need it up here. Just a god awful amount of trucks here. I think they're logging trucks. Loading logs on there. And those other ones are just chip. Chip trucks where they chip the wood into chips to make pulp paper out of. But. I'll back up over here to this other line where you can see, see how rusted, that ain't seen nothing in years, but this one, yeah, a little more frequent, maybe once, uh, every other week, and I think all they have really here is Maybe some logging cars they ship. Hey. Hobo Shadow. And pulp rail cars. Look at all them logs. That's a lot of toilet paper. A lot of notebook paper or whatever they make out of it. Anyway, I didn't sleep worth a flip thinking I was going to get brown recluse or black wood a bit. But it sure is pretty up here in northern Maine. I think after I visit John, I'm going to go on up to uh, Prescott and Caribou, if I got time. 
you know, ever since I was a kid, I was fascinated with holes and stuff like this. God, that just looks like an old wash tub. Uh, it's just a culvert draining the yard. Uh, let's go. Can't really see because of the sun, but there's a like a grain mill silo over there on the right. Let's go over there and have a coffee. Well, that cold front moved through last night about three in the morning. I didn't know they sh sold the black rifle up here. I think 40% of the proceeds go to the veterans. It's pretty good. They got the cream, they got regular uh, extra caffeine. That's the espresso. Now, I had not, last night I known this was here, I could have just slept behind a pallet of wood. This is one of them do-it-yourself hardware stores. Yeah, and it was so humid and warm last night. My Saturn V t-shirt got soaking wet with sweat. That's one of my top three or four favorite shirts. But... I'm going to wait till they open. But yeah, uh, John's going to come get me probably about 9 or 10 this morning. We're going to go uh, out on Grand Lake, about 30 miles south of here. Cage or Case, some little town. And uh, they're having a veterans only celebration. They're going to have fireworks. They got a pyrotechnic guy they hired. Uh, we're going to roast a pig, a whole pig, a uh, potluck. There's going to be a lot of boaters there out watching the fireworks. Go fishing, cook fish right on the shore. Uh, John's got himself a cabin. He said he's got a little bitty trailer behind the cabin I can stay in tonight. And uh, John's been in one of my videos about a year and a half ago down in Irwin. That's where John uh, works, down in Irwin. He's on leave up here in uh, Maine. So he comes up here for some R&R. &R. He's at... Uh, uh, Irwin police officer I met probably one of the nicest police officers you could ever meet and he invited me up there's that 24 hour shell I got my coffee at last night Circle K alright I'm going to finish my coffee guys and let my shirt dry a little more all right, gonna check the pig out. Man, look at that turkey too. Yep, and beans, big pot of beans. Man, oh wow. I didn't even see him. I wish they could smell on the video too. Smelling <laughs> pretty good. Alright guys, this is where I'm sleeping. John's letting me sleep in a little camper trailer. You can almost lay any way you want to on that mattress. But uh, I'm fixing to go swimming. Got me some skimmies with some anchors on them. And a towel. It's a little trailer. And I'll show you the outside. Not bad for a hobo. 
yeah uh if you want to check out john's videos on youtube just type in trains trains t-r-a-i-n-s t-r-a-i-n-s all one word on youtube he's, he's actually got two videos of me on a freight train while he's sitting at in Irwin. And you can, he's filming me go by on the grain car on CSX. So make sure you look for them videos. It says, I spotted shoestring, I think is the title. So we're fixing to go swimming. I'll be real careful with this camera out in the water. Yeah, I should have brought my Lasix. My legs look like Popeye. See where they're swollen, where my other socks were, and I put some other ones on a while ago. That's because of my liver. Even though it's been eight years since I drank, it's still affecting my liver. Anyway, we're at John's place on Grand Lake, right on the Canadian border in Maine. Let's go swimming. And there's Grand Lake. Look at that owl box. That's New Brunswick, Canada, over there. He said they do have border patrol boats. So I gotta be careful. Now, I think he said the water is 81 degrees. So all that heat lately, I gotta find a place that's easy to get in for my tender feet. Yep, this is Grand Lake. We're kind of on the north end, the spit. Now, it's 22 miles long north to south and 7 miles across at the widest. But that's Canada there, New Brunswick. Yeah, so if you want to check out John's videos, just go to Trains Trains. I'm trying to get my tender feet used to this. I don't want to step on no fish hook. But, yeah, that water is every bit of 81 degrees. You can see kind of behind me how far out I am. It's pretty shallow. I'm not sure exactly how deep it is to the other side. But with this camera, even though it's a little waterproof, I don't want a chance on dropping that thing. But there's John's cabin. And there's the north end of the lake. Yep, that's as close as the water I'm getting. At least I got water up to my chest. And it's been Tennessee since I had a bath, so I might leave a ring around the lake. And when the water hits the Atlantic, it may even leave a ring around the ocean. Nah, I'm not that dirty. I washed my feet in my bucket this morning and washed my socks and shirts. But, anywho, I'm a little further out now. But, I stood back up. So, you can see how far I am from the land. But, yep, Border Patrol does boat this too, so I can't go out too far. Look how clear that water is. I'm up to my belly button and you can still see my feet. Now if I was doing this down south, be my luck, I'd step on a big logger head snapping turtle. Going on a boat ride. What's up, John? <laughs> Sure is 
different than the rails. There's Canada. There's a good old USA. I'm going to try it on time lapse. That's the closest I've been to Canada since 2007. Well, this just feels different than a box car. Grand Lake. Hope it don't rain. Yeah, tomorrow I'm heading to Millinocket, the Canadian uh, Pacific and CSX both merge there and they got a big diamond and we're gonna get on a freight train there hopefully CP or CN rather see how close to Montreal we can get there'll be plenty of stops to get off before the Canadian border though but look up Millinocket on the map and you'll see the big diamond uh, junction there. That's where we're going to wait on the train there tomorrow. You can hear echoing for miles.
Double barrel shotgun. Non grainer.
feel the heat from that one. Set these off in the rail yard.